Hi, Laura Clemisha from Performance Frontiers here. As we start a bright new year, here at PF, we're talking about prioritising self-transformation in our leadership. How, by first looking inwards, we can actually heighten our capacity to affect change in others and our external environment. And one area where self-transformation is absolutely critical is when we reimagine the concept of service leadership. So you may have also heard this referred to as servant leadership. And the primary goal of this model is to support and meet the needs of others, our teams, by relying on giving rather than putting the leader in the hero or the glory role. So while this people focus model has certainly been successful in its ability to develop individuals through building an environment of trust, uh, helping people feel as though they belong, and that in turn brings a greater commitment and sense of loyalty and high performance, all great things. Here at Performance Frontiers, we have noticed that over time, sustaining the practice of service leadership can lead to burnout for leaders. So today we'd like to adopt the term oxygen masks first and talk about three steps we can all take to prioritise ourselves so that we can be better leaders and serve others. So the first step is self-reflection. By looking inward and examining our own values and experiences, we can uncover needs, our goals, and achieve transformational learning. Now, not only is this beneficial to ourselves, it also sets a great example for our teams and positions us well to support them in doing the same. The second step is self-awareness. Now, in today's VUCA environment, understanding our why, our reason for being, opens the door for greater insight, authenticity, and emotional intelligence. To better understand our impact on others, we first need to gather regular feedback and stay curious and open. And it might not surprise you that the third step is self-care. Perhaps the most important of all in the quest to avoid burnout is our ability to build and maintain our resilience. Intentionally managing our environment is a way that gives us time to regroup, reflect, relax, and do activities that make us feel good and support ourselves. Now, for self-care, one size doesn't fit all, and ensuring your individual strategies are working and are integrated into your regular routine will support you to become wealthy in your well-being. So, to recap, by taking pause to examine our values, to know our impact, and to build our resilience, our oxygen masks are well placed to enable us to ripple change throughout our colleagues, teams and the greater organisational system. Thank you and see you next time.